What about you folks and welcome to LST Plays. Today we're taking a look at Battlefield 1 for the PC and more specifically the multiplayer. We'll be discussing the various game modes, online connectivity, player base and finishing up with a rundown of what my favourite modes and classes are towards the end. I'll start by just explaining in case you're new to my channel that I decided to split my thoughts on the single player and multiplayer so I'm not rushing through it and so that the video isn't too long. As always, these are my thoughts on the game, but let me know what yours are down below in the comment section at the end. Okay, we'll start with the menus. First off the bat, it's all in game now. No web browser, aka battle log to launch the game. Nice simple interface, everything's clearly laid out. And you even get videos from YouTubers highlighted on the main menu from people like Jack Frag, who I'm a big fan of. But one issue I do have with this new menu is that there's no weapon or gear customization outside of actually going into matches. So it's a bit disjointing being able to look at the gear that you have but not actually able to make any changes in the My Soldier section. Now that said, apparently an option does exist and it is coming to the game at some stage. DICE said that they wanted to wait until the game was a bit more stable post launch before tackling whatever the issue was with it. For now, interestingly enough though, you can actually customise and purchase unlockable gear via the Battlefield Companion app, though at the moment it will reset whatever setup you have on the PC with your soldier, so just make sure to check your gear before rolling out. Okay, so going into the quick match screen, you'll find a full list of available game modes and to date, I've gotten a game from all of them every time, first time, so it really is quick match for sure. From in here we have our modes, Conquest, Domination, Rush, Team Deathmatch and War Pigeons. Operations are only accessible via the main menu which I'll touch on after I run through these modes. So just a quick note as well, there are 9 maps in Battlefield 1 as of right now with a new map launching for free in December called Giant Shadow which is very on EA uh, to give something away surely. But um, most of the following modes take place in either specific areas or utilise the entire map. And with that we'll start with something that's uh, a favourite of mine and many players out there and that's Conquest. If you're a long time Battlefield or for that matter Star Wars Battlefront player then you'll either know exactly or have a rough idea of what Conquest is. It's a staple diet of any Battlefield game, capture the objectives and hold on to them in a team vs team effort. Um, an absolute classic mode, still incredibly satisfying to this day. Slightly different in this iteration of Battlefield however is the inclusion of behemoths or armoured trains. Uh, they're huge vehicles basically awarded to the team losing to help them turn the tide of the match or to try to. I was a bit concerned, you know, that they might ruin the gameplay of Conquest because, you know, before it's been quite pure bar the sort of uh, weather effects changing in Battlefield 4 and things like that. But um, in all honesty, I think they're a very welcome addition uh, and create an absolute spectacle when you see them. That and uh, it does sort of create like a team objective to take them down when they do spawn. So it's good fun to see loads of people just firing up in the air and just trying to take them out if it's a behemoth or if it's a train, you know, using their anti-tank weapons and the different stationary tarts that you find littered across the map to try and take out these, uh, these huge, huge vehicles. And they're even more impressive when they do decide to blow up once you finally destroyed them. Domination is uh, pretty much the same as Conquest but without the vehicle element, it's all about your skills as a soldier which in my case without my tank means dang a lot, uh, though for those FPS purists out there I'm sure this will be a dream come true. Rush is another returning Battlefield stable which first saw its inception in Battlefield Bad Company 1 which was called Gold Rush at the time. Another very simple objective based game but instead of an open map you capture points to push the opposing team of defenders or attackers back. Once defenders lose their objective points more of the map opens up and creates some very cinematic style retreats as in this iteration an artillery barrage covers the defenders retreat so you basically have to sprint away once you lose your points um, and the barrage sort of stops enemies from just sort of you know killing you as you're running away which is quite nice. Team Deathmatch is pretty much what it says in the tin except in place of a full open map players are confined to a small section of the map. Uh, although it's not my cup of tea I really appreciate the level of detail that DICE have with their maps. That they can put you into a corner of one of their larger maps and the level design is so good that it would probably rival any dedicated maps built for any other first person shooter. Enemies picked up the pigeon. And lastly, just from the quick game modes, I've saved the best for last. Um, now, I did just say that Team Deathmatch is, is not my cup of tea, but, uh, well, put a pigeon amongst the chaos and sign me up. This mode is absolutely hilarious. Basically, Team Deathmatch, but where by the winning team will win by releasing the most pigeons. First to, fo first to four wins, 
The pigeons randomly spawn on the map inside buildings, with the goal being retrieve the pigeon and then start an animation once you're outside to set it free. Once it's flown to freedom, an artillery strike is called down on the enemy locations. Um, but to make it fair though, as an opposing team player, you have the chance to actually shoot the pigeon out of the sky. <laughs> Are you sold yet? <laughs> if not, hearing an announcer say, an enemy has released a pigeon, never gets old. A pigeon has been located. Okay, so exiting out of quick match, and as I mentioned, you'll find operations. This mode is brand new to Battlefield and is a faux multiplayer campaign. You can pick between four separate campaigns spanning across the various maps, with the easiest way to describe the gameplay is that it's like Rush. Attacking teams have to capture conquest locations, pushing the defending team back. If the attackers fail within the time limit, however, they will lose a team life. Lose all your lives and the opposing team wins. To help a team that's struggling though, at the start of every replayed round, a behemoth or armoured train will spawn for backup. As well as that, if you push the enemy team beyond an objective and then fail the next point, you restart at the most recent objective that your team captured. It's a fun mode to play, but one that requires good communication and teamwork to actually do well in. And another point as well I noticed is that the capture points are very close. In, in Conquest, you've got quite a big area to sort of sit and camp the objective, but in object Operations, it's quite narrow to the actual flag post. So you'll find that you'll die quite a lot because enemies all only they really only have to like chuck a grenade in it yeah so it is quite a tough mode to play but as i say if you have a good team to play with then you'll probably be laughing Moving on to some of the uh, finer details about the game and we'll start with connections. Uh, connection wise I haven't had too many problems, the odd time maybe when EA have been performing maintenance but it's definitely not the disaster whether it was Battlefield 4 on launch so if you're worried about the game being unstable on launch not a problem so far, I haven't experienced any kind of issues whatsoever, just bar those little maintenance windows which is still great to see that they're so, so active on uh, actually repairing any of the issues that they find with the game. The only real proper issue though I have come across is sometimes when you're in a vehicle your mouse and keyboard seems to go on the fritz and not work. The only solution I've found is to quickly alt tab out of the game and then back in again. I thought it was just me but my friend's dad had the same issue as well from what I can tell. It usually happens when you open the in-game origin browser but hopefully that there'll be a patch for that soon enough so it's the only real sort of issue I've had that sort of disconnected me from the game. A brief note about the player base as well, um, I really don't have much to say about it on PC, it's a real mixture, you have your good rounds where people seem to get just get on with it and then you have bad rounds where people point fingers at every shadow and shout cheater or racist slurs and that's really the issue with multiplayer gaming in 2016 and you know it has been for so many years is that you just, it's a real mixed bag unless you're playing with a really good bunch of friends and you have your own server and stuff you'll never get a sort of perfect match perhaps where whereby people aren't sort of being perhaps a little bit uh, rude on the uh, the chat so if you are playing on PC what I would recommend is maybe just turning off the in-game chat window unless you're not playing with friends and maybe need to keep an eye out for teammates communicating with you plus from my point there, there's nothing more distracting than someone flaming in the chat window throughout a game and distracting you And we can't talk about an EA game without mentioning our old friend Mr. Microtransaction. Well, as of right now, Battlefield 1 for now anyway, is free of them. Players have the opportunity to purchase in-game battle packs via credits earned from duplicate unlocks and weapon skins. You'll get the odd free battle pack from just playing any of the multiplayer game modes, which may or may not get you a valuable weapon skin. But be warned, EA have confirmed that microtransactions, or macrotransactions as they're calling them, are on the way. EA hinted recently that new map packs may be up for grab through in-game and origin with a lower price point to that of the season pass. So in my mind, think of the map packs they released for Star Wars Battlefront. You could purchase them on their own or you could buy the season pass which got you them all together in a bundle for £40 which is the same price of the game pretty much. My honest opinion of the multiplayer, again as its own entity, I'd give it 4.5 stars out of 5 as an experience. It's it's definitely up there in terms of giving you that all out war and chaos feeling with some beautiful graphics, sound design, weapons, balancing and map scale. My favourite game modes to play so far are War Pigeon and of course uh, 64 player Conquest. My favourite maps are Argon Forest, Amiens, St Quentin Scar and Sinai Desert that we saw from the beta. 
I usually rock out a medic kit as, like I mentioned before, I might not be the best FPS player in the world, so I, need, I do need to work hard to keep my points respectable with health packs or reviving people. So there you go folks, Battlefield 1 as it stands right now from my opinion, but what do you think? Are you enjoying the game? What's your favourite map, class or even weapon? Let me know down below in the comments section and don't forget to keep an eye out for that single player review amongst others and I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the battlefield.